Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, dogs and cats, cardboard crawlers of all nations. Thank you so much for tuning in and making this channel what it is. Welcome to video number 800. Seems like just yesterday I had two videos online. Man, what a good time we're having here. We are out in a new location up near the Raleigh-Durham Airport. We are in what's considered the Research Triangle. I am near a little research laboratory here, and there are some really cool rocks up in this parking lot area. And so I was picking someone up at the airport. I had filmed here a couple of weeks ago, and I marked it on the map and decided to come back and check it out, and I'm glad I did. This turned out to be a fun little run and a good little spot to film. I'll be back anytime I'm up in this part of town. It's about an hour from my house, hour and ten maybe, and uh, just around the corner from the airport, ten minutes away maybe. So... Yeah, like I said, video 800. Can't really believe it. We're running that Maz Designs uh, version 2 cheat code chassis with a WT Micros FJ45 body on that bad girl right there. Looking good. We've got Maz Designs links all around. Uh, high, high clearance suspension links and a steering link up front. We've got Injora 39 millimeter oil shocks on this with an NSD RC servo, a an enjoyable an Injora adjustable servo tray, and we are running Injora old style 15 hole wheels on this with some Maz Designs beadlock rings in it. We have a FuryTech Micro Komodo paired up to a Maz Designs Overdrive Transmission Limited Edition, no longer available. And it's a sweet runner. I know you've seen it before. We got scramblers with CCXRC pine trees in those bad dudes right there, giving us all the grip. Love and life out in the rocks couple of Maz Designs uh, diff covers on there to add a little bit of weight down low and just some axial stock axles in there. Do have a set of CVDs up in the front and those do have a four millimeter hex widener kit on there so giving us a little bit of width and having fun in the rocks today. Warmed up a couple of degrees, has been very cold, it's been cold throughout the entire United States, and we're starting to warm back up here in North Carolina. It's going to get up to the high 60s later in the week, and we're going to be loving that, let me tell you. Speaking of loving that, remember, if you enjoy this content, please hit that like button, give us a comment hit the notification bell so you know when we're putting out other content and tell a friend share this with someone you care about give them a little bit of entertainment for these cold winter days i really appreciate each and every one of you and i really just couldn't have thought about doing 800 rc videos without you i mean you know, without you guys, there is no content. And right now, the content is just really fun for me to make. I appreciate all of you. And I hope you appreciate me getting out here and just putting in the work, doing, giving it time and energy, and just making fun little videos for us to enjoy ourselves with. Live vicariously through me. If you don't have a truck, and you can't afford to go out there and build a truck, it's fully understandable, you know. Uh, we don't all just have discretionary income, although some people think we do. Um, and I was able to build these trucks when I was working a lot and, and made some was making some extra money at the time, and 
now I have a whole fleet of these bad dudes to get out there and uh, crawl with, and I, I really enjoy having them, and, and, you know, all them vehicles are paid for, I tell you what, no creditors, and uh, none of them are shelf queens really for me, um, I don't run my sister's uh, Gladiator very much, or my nephew's trucks very much, but there's four three nephews and my sister and brother-in-law built a gladiator as well and, and I, I do occasionally run them but I don't run them very often so um, yeah this is one of the favorite trucks on the channel seems that people really like it it's the only truck that I've built that has oil shocks in it I have three other sets of oil shocks sitting around I need to just put them in some trucks but I just really haven't. Uh, I like the way that all my rigs run right now, and they're all just a little set up a little bit different here and there. Um, so uh, the LC80 has the stock oil shocks in it, and I like the way that that runs as well. So we're just getting it done. You know, we're out here uh, up near the airport in the Research Triangle. I don't know if I mentioned that before. I can't recall, but we are at a we're right in um really it's a like biotech research facility parking lot that i'm up in and they have a six set of rocks here there's a couple sets of rocks and this one is really kind of in a half moon shape at the corner of two parts of a driveway coming into a parking lot it's nice and quiet and, and just around the corner from the airport i'm going to pick someone up this afternoon and so I just knew it was here. I'd marked it on the map and I came back to see if I could get a long play video out of it. I had done some shorts and I just wasn't quite sure if there was a good long trail. Of course, we moved a couple little rocks around. I think that white rock my tires just came across was a rock I moved, but you gotta fill some gaps here and there because these are big stones and you gotta have big cajones to get through them. So. It's a good time on a January afternoon. And just having fun, you know, just trying to try to live life and, and do what we do, right? You know, you can't can't let it get too serious on you. Can't let it get you down because uh, no one's going to bring you back up if it does, if you do. You know, you just got to kind of, you know, depend on oneself and, the, you know, the family that you have around you to to have a good time and, and that's that's what I'm doing. I got these trucks and, and they're fun to play with and I really enjoy making videos for you guys to enjoy. I, I really appreciate all the comments that I get, all the thumbs up, the new subscribers, you know, it's amazing. Uh, like I keep telling everybody, show it to your grandma, she'll get a kick out of it. Uh, show it to your sister, your brother, your friends, you know, maybe maybe they want to get a truck. Maybe they want to get you a truck because they know you want something to do. Um, you can't all get out there and be in the outdoors, but I know up in Michigan, man, there's a ton of people with some really good indoor courses around, and, um, you know, you can build an indoor course pretty easily yourself. And uh, I really like to get out and search for new places to go drive around. I mean, look at that little backdrop right there. This is a fun little section of rocks to get on through here. I mean, look, tell me what, you know what I'm saying? Like, it would be nothing for a 10th scale. Like, you'd look at this with a 10th scale and just go, eh, yeah, that's that's not very fun. But with the, with the 24th scale, with an 18th scale, these are some rocks here. You could be serious. Like, if I'm over to the left a little bit, those are some deep, deep rocks, you know, right here. Not too bad, kind of just trailing it. But look, you know, I mean, those are tire eaters right there. That truck's buried in those rocks. It, it, it ain't it ain't easy being wheezy, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta figure it out and, and find it out. You know, I had a couple of test runs in some spots, and as you can see, it's a little parking lot, you know? Hardly anyone here. This facility is designed for hundreds of people, and there's probably only 25 cars in the parking lot. So it's real nice. There's a walking trail right close by. A couple of the employees out walking on their breaks or whatnot. Or after work, I'm not sure. And, uh, you know, wave and smile. And, oh, what you doing there? Making some uh, some social media content? Yeah, yeah, sure am. Having a good time. Hope you have a good day. You know, you just, you know, didn't even question whether I was allowed to be here or supposed to be here or not. You know, there's no... 
There's no gate, there's no fences, there's no markings that say you can't be here. So I just pulled up in it, and, you know, to win it. Pretend like you own the place, I guess. You know, it's easier to ask forgiveness than it is to ask permission a lot of times. I mean, who would you go talk to? Someone at the front desk? I bet their answer would probably be no. But if they saw you out here, you know, I'm not doing anything. That's my car park right there. The dog's with me, chilling as usual. And uh, let him out to go potty right before I started filming and got a battery in it. And here we are, and there you have it. What are you going to do, you know? Have a good time. Live your life. You're not I'm not bothering anybody. I'm not in anybody's way. I'm not like, you know, up where a bunch of cars are parked. I'm just kind of out in the, the back of the lot, out of the way, not bothering anybody. And, uh, you know, that's how you do it. You don't, you don't get right up in people's business, right in their storefront or whatnot. And uh, anyway... Number 800 in the books. So, like I said, I really couldn't have done it without y'all, and uh, I appreciate you. Ooh, a little tire shoot there. You're getting stuck down in there. Oh, yeah, I'm going to rip it off the rim right there, huh? Couldn't have done it without you. So, thanks for watching. I appreciate you continuing to tune in. And even, whether you watch just a little bit or all of it, it all tells the algorithm that you love it. So as always, Cardboard Crawlers, out.